Friday. Um, my food for Friday. And this is what I'm eating. I love dark pancakes. Not too dark, but like that. And um, gotta have the crispy edges. Um, I'm sharing all these meals because I'm keeping it, you know, clear for you guys. Showing you guys exactly my struggle, what I'm going through. And also, there's a reason for me doing what I'm doing because I'm trying to figure out something behind the scenes that I will be sharing with you guys. Um, actually, it might be this might be a part of that video, so we shall see. And um, yeah, I got my little syrup, and I'm about to eat my breakfast. So, all right, y'all. Hey, look, guys, it did fit. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I'm so excited. It did fit. And this is the big one. It fits right in my book bag. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And, uh, yep. Make sure my, make sure my, uh, what you call it is not on there. But hubby went and picked it up today. And this is the Ozark. All right, my revivers. So I will be sharing this cup with you guys in more details. I'm going to do a specific video just about this cup because this cup is so worth it and I love it. So I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. Enjoy the vlog. And smoked cheese, grilled cheese sandwiches. Waiting for this cheese to melt for me and my hubby. And I'm using that garlic butter from Sam's on top of them that I showed in my last video. Yep. All done. I don't know why my thing records, but it don't start my voice until after. So sometimes I might repeat myself when I'm recording, especially short clips. But yep, all done. Good morning, my revivers. Look at my eye. I'm trying to edit some things. I just filled this up with water. How I have to do my ice is I'm like really, really diluting that flavored water stuff, trying to get myself prepared. And I think if I do want something, it'll be just a tad bit of that stuff. Actually, I'll put that on my list. I got to get fruits and stuff for Monday. Today, I'm taking mom out. I don't care how my eye look. I'm taking mom out for, um, well, that's nice. And I do appreciate you wanting to take me out to eat, but I want to. At home, cool. No, this is what I would like. Some other pork chops. Oh, my gosh. She don't even want to go out to dinner. <laughs> While I'm telling y'all that, she, mom just literally texts me. She said, oh, my jeepers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> she just really... Okay. Wait, I got to get my husband because he's going to probably have to go to the store. Hold on one second, y'all. Hold on one second. <laughs> she said, um, <clears throat> well, that's nice. And I do appreciate you wanting to take me out. She loved my food. Like, she like, And I love to cook. She said, um... See, but I want a home-cooked meal. This is what I would like. Some other pork chops mashed potatoes and my brock and your broccoli and cheese don't have to be today or tomorrow which would be mother's day but that is my wish i got you girl that's saving me some coins that's saving me some coins i got you so yes i feel good about that we can go to the movies i can prep the food before i go have it ready and then when i come back i can just smother i can have my pork chops fried my potatoes already boiled all that good stuff when i come back from the movies we shall eat we might eat a little late because the movie's at 5 55 so but that's what she shall have today for her that's what she want that's what she shall get y'all my eye looks a mess so anywho i just filled this up i freeze water in one of my plastic cups that i got from target that i showed you guys and once it frees ice solid the next day i put it in a ziploc bag put a um towel over it and i crush it up so this is like full of ice and it is 11.04 on Saturday and I'm going to show you how long this ice lasts in this thingy. Okay. Um, I'll probably do a separate video because I did talk about this in another video. I don't know how I'm going to do it. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Um, I'll probably add that to the other video. So I'm editing. I got to go to the movies at 5.55. Me and mom are going to see Intruder. I'm going to go grocery shopping before we go to the movies. Um, hus hubby got bacon sausage and i want some more pancakes and eggs going he's actually going to the store first but the bake is in the oven and i am going to edit some things get some things off of this um sd card and uh yeah so yesterday i went out and did my uber i had mcdonald's but i had a fish sandwich i shared fries with hubby 
and I had a strawberry cream pie. It was amazing. But I didn't really do a whole bunch of eating yesterday other than um, my pancakes, bacon, pancakes and sausage earlier that day that I did share in this video. Um, other than that, I didn't eat much of anything. I had a little snacks. I snacked on some Gushers, some... Um, some um, Slim Jims, and I think I had a bag of the cheese that Snaps, but being that I'm getting ready to do this water fast, I'm trying to get out what I can, it ain't like I can eat everything, because the addiction is the addiction, but I'm trying to, I'm not trying to eat healthy these couple days, this weekend, because I start, my, I mean, Monday, yeah, on this, so I would do a probably separate video of the stuff that I bought for the three days of eating fruit on my, um, 2020 slash four, um, intermittent fasting so i'm gonna do that as well but um you'll probably see this video before all of that but yeah i'm gonna be sharing a lot of things during that journey especially vlogging and sharing what i'm going through because i know it's gonna be a lot so what i did was i had a little bit like lower than this line in here i don't even know if that that line is where it ends in the inside but really low of my fruit um water I am going to probably get some of that for my um, water fast just in MB. And I'm going to show you guys. If the lemon water is just not enough for me and I feel like, ugh, my, ugh, uh, um, you know what I'm trying to say. I'm going to put just a touch of the strawberry lemonade crystal stuff powder just in my water i'm talking a touch not a lot just to give me a different taste flavor in my mouth um and see how that works out for me so I'm, I'm i'm doing it my way i'm sharing different ways because i know a lot of people don't like water as well and some people just can't just drink water i can but being that i have fell back in the hump of eating a lot of foods that are not healthy my taste buds have been kind of turned off by water and it's like ugh, it's not flavorful it's nothing and i don't want it so that's why i'm going to definitely um get those on deck just in case i may not use them but just in case so when i go shopping for my three days i'm going to grab a box of those from dollar tree and i'm going to share it with y'all what i um what i buy so let me get off let me get this stuff off this uh sd card and start getting some editing done and um go check the bacon before he comes back and get myself ready um for that so talk to you guys later but we love to get our brown eggs from walmart right but my mom-in-law has a lady who has a farm at the hospital and she brings her eggs so we've been getting a lot of good fresh brown eggs and i'm so excited about that but anywho let me share something with y'all so i'm down here trying to prep stuff i took the bacon out and i was getting ready to start the eggs because everybody don't eat my daughter and i don't eat pancakes and she have company so i don't know i'm gonna do eggs um and get it started because he's still not back from putting the gas in the car so we got some sausage in there and i was like okay let me get hold on let me just show y'all this i go in the freezer I have my pineapples freezing. I just stick that back there because my phone was taking too long to cut back on. And I didn't want it to melt. And from where I'm standing, if I'm standing back like this and where this was, this was back here. Because I went to put my sausage back in there. I couldn't see that. Now, on the camera, because I'm down, I can. But if I'm standing straight up, I can't see that if I'm at the freezer. Because it was like back like that. That's how it was. So, I go to put the sausage in there. I wonder why the sausage ain't going in there. Do y'all know my husband bought this days ago and did not even tell me? I had no clue it was even in there. And now I'm getting ready to start this fast and stuff in two days. Y'all know I'm feeling some type of way. But I'm about to eat that tonight. I'm going to have a big old bowl of it, a couple bowls of it tonight. And I'm eating some tomorrow on Sunday before I flush and get myself prepared. I can't believe he did me like that. Just wrong, wrong, wrong. Their breakfast. They probably almost done eating their breakfast. Look at Rizzy. <laughs> I already started. Sorry for the mutilated plate, but I already started. That's hubby's. And this is mine. He didn't come to eat yet, so I got my little flavored water and I'm getting ready to eat my breakfast. And now he's gonna take care of the dishes. Well I'm about to finish this editing. Make up my bed and get on out with my day. Because I still have to be back here to get ready for the movies with mom at 5.30. So, oh, my eye is really hurting so bad. I remember they used to say put a grain of salt in it and it'll pop it or relieve it or whatever. But, yeah, it looks even worse on the camera. Oh, my gosh. 
Oh wow. Oh wow. All right. All right guys, so I went to the store to replace my pineapples that were bad from Artie's and I also replaced my watermelon and those bad raisins I showed y'all when I did the granola. He let me just get some more bananas. That's why I tell y'all don't sleep on all these. I got my potatoes cut for tonight's dinner because I told y'all what mom want. And remember our throwback video? Do y'all remember? Look what I found at the grocery store. The giant freaking freezies. And they all fell out on the ground on the way in. One of them is busted. So I have to rinse these off. But they were 20 cents. So I got like $3 worth of them for my kids. Yes, and these strawberries were $1.49 on sale, and they look so freaking good. Now, the time that I do the fruit, the uh, the four hours of fruit on the first three days of this um, fasting um, journey I'm going to do is going to be all fruit. I may do some um, some smoothies. That's why I got these, and I got some bananas. Hopefully, those will get ripe enough for me to use them. If not, I got a couple over here that I can use, and then two in here that I took with me when I did Uber but I didn't even eat them so I gotta do something with them because I smashed them so I might freeze these so they can these can go in some smoothies for um the actual three days of fruit so I got some good pork chops that were on sale nice and thick so I'm getting ready to rinse these and season these for dinner tonight I got some gum I like to keep gum in my car I want to try this I never tried this try it in tropical Try them vibes, tropical beat. We shall see. I love peach and mango stuff. These things are overrated. Rizzy loves these, so I surprise her and grab them from certain stores. But tops, these are one seventy nine. Y'all see how little this thing is? Candy these days and stuff sweets are just overrated. The prices. Oh, and I got me some more Maggie. If you follow my cooking, um, my cooking playlist with all the how to cook certain things that I share you would see that I love this especially when you're making gravies and stuff and I only have one bottle um and it's like one left I usually keep two I gotta get some more of that as well but yeah um so I'm gonna probably let these sit for a day or so and then chop them up and I seen this these were on sale for 10 for 10 so I wanted to try it and that's, oh, and the watermelon, if I didn't show that. So that's my little mini, mini haul and some of the stuff I got to prepare me for my fruit fasting um, three days, first three days. And if you guys have any questions, put them below and I will make sure I will answer them. Let me get this going because she's going to be coming to get me at 515. I at least want to get these um, fried up real quick. I have them waiting when I get back. If not, I'll just season them and do everything later. And we'll just be eating late. So, all right. See you guys later, Katers. So, good news for me, um, I only need to make three. I got my onions and peppers cut up. I put the other ones in the freezer. I'm going to find a meal to make with those. It probably won't be pork chops. It'll be probably like pulled pork or something. I don't know. I'll figure it out. And I'm just going to half these for the mashed potatoes um, because Rizzy is going to eat out. I told her she can eat out when her friend comes. So, she's going to eat out. So, I have to cook for her or her friend. And then Naya is going to be gone to a party of one of her friends with her friend that stayed the night so they're not eating either which I had six enough for everybody actually I'm lying I had six until we discovered that Rizzy friend could come over which we would have needed seven so that worked out perfectly because I was gonna let Rizzy um you know eat with us but since we don't have enough for our friend we're gonna do the um Wendy's Wendy's or whatever that's her favorite more than likely it's gonna probably be Wendy's so yeah so, I'm getting ready to go get my life together and wait for mom to come get me because my hubbin, hubbin, hubbin is going to fry these for me. So, I don't have to fry them and they'll be ready when I get back. All right, y'all. I think I'll probably at least, no, he could do that. I'm going to ask him to boil these for me so they'll be ready when I come back. All right, y'all. Guys, I still have the bar cart sitting in the middle of the floor. You can see the iron and that decanter sitting there. It is still sitting in the middle of the floor. I don't want to put it back. Hubby talking about, he said that he think that corner over there is too much matchy matchy with the gray, but I like it. It just, it just seemed more clean. <clears throat> I don't know. And I like the table with not much on it like it is. I don't know. Y'all see the trampoline? Whatever. I'm over here watching a movie. I don't know what it is. He was telling me about it. It's not like a good movie, but... 
more than likely y'all I'm gonna be getting rid of that bar, bar carp <laughs> and just if I make drinks I can make them on there if need be I just feel like I just want it to look more cleaner and then I'm thinking about so it won't look matchy matchy I can get rid of these two gray curtains and put all white like do all white or maybe do like a cream linen on the ends to match the um, chairs. I'm trying to think of ways to keep what I have and not waste money, but still make it clean and airy and, you know, just look nice for me. Like I said, this is a smaller house, but yeah, I, I, I made up in my mind that I'm not going to be hasty to change stuff. I have this, thank God for blessing me with it, but... As time goes on, I'll slowly but surely get it to what I like, but I'm going to be grateful for what I have and utilize that until that time comes. So, yeah. Oh, I see something. I don't know if y'all see it, but I see something that's irritating me, but I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything, but all right, y'all. That's what I wanted to come back and let y'all know. We had breakfast this morning. It was so good breakfast was so good and I just got back from the store and doing my pork chops and I just ate um some combos the cheese pretzel combos and um two Slim Jims so I'm gonna take my strawberry pie to the movies my Reese cups to the movies and try to sneak my water in I can't turn my camera around that's why I'm still talking but yeah all right y'all <laughs> look at my eye it's like um <sighs> I'm anxious to go see this movie I'm just chilling, but Rizzy and her friend get ready to go outside and ride bikes to get off some energy. Hopefully, they don't be up that late. Um, yeah, I hope th hope this movie is really good. My eye is torturing me. Hopefully, through this um, fasting, it'll heal faster and go away because it is really irritating me. Very irritating. This is actually a show, y'all. This is actually a show. Babe, what's the name of the show? Society. He did say that. It's called Society. Netflix, Hulu? Netflix? Netflix. It's called Society. Wow. So these teenagers got to figure it out with all their parents gone. If you watch this, let me know below if you like it or if you just started watching this. All right, let me finish watching this until my mom come get me. So apparently... A lot of people thought the way myself and my mom thought. Let's go to the movie today. Well, she didn't think that I thought that, but she thought the fact that Mother's Day was tomorrow would be an issue because a lot of people are probably like, oh, let's get it done Saturday. That way we won't have to follow the rush of people and crowds of people on Sunday. We went to the mall to go to the movies. No go. I can't do a whole bunch of people. And it seems like when the movie theaters are really, really packed, People talk too much. It just it's too much. So we're gonna wait till sometime this week and go like when she gets off work or something like that. So I'm here frying these pork chops and boiling my potatoes so we can have dinner. But she oh, we'll probably do a live before you even see this video. Oh, we shall see. We shall see y'all. We shall see. All right, let me cook and you guys will see our meal. The homemade gravy. I'm using the same flour that I um, put the pork chops in because I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to be using this to create my gravy. I can't see them. <laughs> I'm going to let this line up and do this thing. This is a, one of the old school ways of making gravy. Let's 
some more flour. I'm only doing three pork chops, so I don't have to put too much. But I like my gravy thick. You can season it now or you can season it later. It's up to you. It's really all up to you. It's a matter of preference. And this is where I put my, my Maggie in. I love this stuff. This stuff is so much flavor. You don't need a lot of salt when you use this at all. See how it's getting thick? I'm going to be adding my water in just a minute. Sorry guys, I'm stuffy and all that other stuff going on with me with the weather changing. And I'm doing this with one hand. So I'm getting ready to slowly add some water. Hold on, let me get the water. That. And watch. And you remember that your pork chops have flour on it as well. So that's going to make it thicken up as well. And this is where I would put my seasoning in. Hold on, let me season it. I can't do, hold this in, do it. Hold on. So what I have in here is some thyme, some onion powder, some garlic powder, some black pepper, and nothing else. And as y'all see, it's getting thicker. So don't be alarmed when it seems like you put that water in and it um, didn't thicken up. It will thicken up as it cooks. And you have to add more water, which I'm going to do. And then add my pork chops. Let's see, more water added, but it's going to get thicker again. And now it's time to add the pork chops. And you always want your water to be above. I'm sorry, this ain't no cooking tutorial. But since I'm cooking and vlogging my journey and how I'm eating and just what I'm doing every day on this weight loss journey, I'm sharing <laughs> this. But I believe I have a video on um, how I make my gravy in my playlist on cooking with CPR. So we're going to put these pork chops in and I'll be right back just to let you know before you put your pork chops in you can taste this if it's not giving you what you want you can add more seasonings mine wasn't giving me what I want so I'm gonna add some more seasonings and I'm just adding some lorry seasoning to it or I would add my adobo depending on what I feel like and I think I want lorries today so and then you would just taste it again perfect all right, let's add the pork chops. So now that they're in, this one ain't sitting flush to the plate, but I mean to the pot. I, might, I should flip it the other way, but oh well. As long as you get most of this gravy on them and cover it, put it on low, you will be in there. These are some thick, nice smothered pork chops you will have. And gravy, can't get enough of gravy. So that's the gravy and they are considered smothered because they are submerged in the gravy I'm gonna put the top on and let these cook for about 30 40 minutes and mash up my potatoes add my cheeses and all that stuff to that and get my broccoli going broccoli cheese sauce that I make oh my gosh it's so bomb y'all seen this in a couple other videos before and I let it boil oh man I let it like continue to boil with the cheese sauce and then I cut it off so the cheese sauce can thicken up around the broccoli and that is it okay that is it and we are about to go rub Alright y'all, I just got out the shower and I'm getting ready to eat me a big bowl of Rocky Road. Dinner was good. She loved, loved, loved her dinner. Hubby loved dinner and my eye is hurting so bad. Like, ugh. I asked if y'all wanted me to go live and some of y'all did make valid points. I need, I need to relax. That was what I was supposed to be doing, right? I don't know what's wrong with me. I gotta get it together. <sighs> I gotta get it together. 
I'm going to still try my best to um, get alive in this coming week um, to share that with you guys, the information that I wanted to share with you guys. But yeah, your girl's going to relax. I'm going to relax. I don't have to do nothing tomorrow, thank God. But I do have a client Monday. So this is going to be end of my night. And this is Saturday. And um, I will vlog what I eat tomorrow as well and share that, which is Mother's Day, which I'm not doing nothing special. And I don't, I don't care for anybody wasting unnecessary money on me unless it's something that like a true experience or something. You know what I mean? Like... I don't, I don't need unnecessary money wasted on me, but I do appreciate, um, the little things that the kids do and stuff like that, but it's not that serious. I don't know, it's just like another day to me. The older I get a lot of things, it's like another day to me. I know I'm a great mother, they know I'm a great mother, and being a great mother is just something that you are supposed to do because you're expected because God gives you the, the children and give them to you as your responsibility to raise them the right way. So, I mean, I just think Mother's Day is another uh, time in America to spend money. They don't have Mother's Day, Father's Day, and all that stuff in other countries. And if you are a good mom, a good dad, you will be told that throughout the year from the love from your kids and all that stuff. It's just not that serious to me. I feel like you should do whatever you're going to do for your mom throughout the year. Treat her nice. Um, if you have that type of relationship with your mom or dad, do whatever you feel throughout the year. It, it shouldn't just be done on one day. Like, I just think that's kind of corny, you know, loved ones should be treated a certain way throughout the year. Just a day shouldn't even mean anything. It really shouldn't, to be honest with you, but this is America and that's just, you know, how things go. So it's, it's it is a holiday for everything. The gender reveals the yeah, the baby shower and gender reveals the push parties there's just so many things that they just they're going to keep adding to it and by the time our us we become grandparents or whatever the case may be it's going to be like 152 it's going to be a holiday every day of the week you know what i mean every day of the year it's, it's crazy i think it's all about money but to know that she was happy and fulfilled with me showing my love in my kitchen and making her smile and she was like this is better than sitting down and, and wasting money at a restaurant and that just made me feel good and things like that is what it's all about guys i thank you for watching this vlog and i am about to sign off and enjoy my rocky road and continue watching i'm watching diy um the diy network and guess what oh my fire stick all right y'all later gators have a awesome sunday